21st pick in the 1996 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Dante Jones from Mississippi State University. himself, Cashville's own, Nashville's own, the legend, the SEC legend, um, the NBA legend, um, the streets legend. Man, there's so many, so many different things that come with it, man, but it, it, it's him in the flesh himself, Mr. Dante Jones, my mentor, big bro. Um, man, this, this thing go deep. This thing go deep, yes, man. So I, I appreciate you coming to the Boom Boom Room. <laughs> Share your journey, you know what I mean? We talk about the obstacles, and then we'll talk about getting to the league and everything. And this, that's where we're going to stop it. Yeah. You understand? Because the next part is the transition to reality. Yes, sir. And the chain stops, you know? So, y'all be y'all be in tune for that right there. This is just the beginning of this, you know what I mean? So, I'm glad to have my man in my presence. I appreciate you coming. Yeah. Yeah, you know already That know. is, that is, that is. So, tell you, we're going to start from the get-go, man. Um, straight up, let's jump straight to high school. Now, first, before we do that, let's talk about some some of the people that inspired you growing up. Well, first, I'm going to, you know, my dad, I'm going to start like that, mm -hmm. personal, you know, because my dad is kind of instrumental in me mm -hmm. doing what I do today. Right. He's my first coach, you know, the first role model, probably the first person that is still all of this, what, like I say, what people tend to think about me today, mm -hmm. all of that goes back to him in the early stages of him, you know, coaching me up. Right. And uh, I was a football player earlier, like we all were. Yeah. We all love the game of football. You know, we inner city kids, so mm -hmm. that's kind of a natural thing. And uh, I never imagined that basketball would take the course that it, that it took. You right. know what I mean? Nobody could have, could imagine me in, in, in uh, Division One basketball and going to the NBA where we're from. But like I say, I, we always competed. I think our emotions and our and the way with the, our passion for the game kind of yeah. show, and uh, both of us are the same. And uh, so, like I said, I didn't I didn't dream to be in a position to be an NBA basketball player, but mm -hmm. it sure happened with a lot of hard work right. and dedication. But my dad, like I say, he instilled in me like if you want something, you know, you give your best for it and right. deal with the results. Right. And uh, if you prepare right and work right, you can accept those results. And I think that just kind of stuck with me. Nothing really fancy or anything else, but once 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 that kind of you know he kind of showed me. You know, who to be around, who to trust, those type of men. And men like Kendall Stevens came into my life. Mm -hmm. Men like Hal McClain, that I'm sure mm -hmm. you know, there's the Harry Gilmore. Right. These, are, yeah, these are guys that once you realize who they were, right. how am I so fortunate enough to be around these guys? Yeah. But like my, my dad was kind of the platform that led me to those guys. So when you're such a young age and you get men that made it and successful and, uh, right. you know, they're pillars of the community, they're guys that you can look back on and say, hey, if he's telling me that I have an opportunity, if he's telling me that I may have a chance, yeah. I must be something. Yeah. And I think that kind of, that torch passing and things like that was leads up to me and you mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in a sense where when you're a young man and kind of getting ready to start the journey, people right. didn't realize we crossed paths way before right. we realized what it would be. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, my dad was my instrumental situation and your mom kind of like mm -hmm. that in your situation, right. making sure that you were around and in the situations that you're supposed to be in. So. My dad started it all. I, I, I have to give the credit to him because without him, I wouldn't know the type of men to trust. Most you know? definitely. Yeah, Most but definitely. Uh, like I said, I had a great support. Cash, you know that. Yeah. There's always been great support around me. And uh, if we want to get personal, as far as people close to me, my uncle David Jones, mm -hmm. my big my, my big cousin, which is not my big brother, my mm -hmm. big homie William Alexander, yeah. which we call you know his big, big boo. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, it's a little big boo. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, everybody knows right. our relationship. I mean they kind of know you know where we stand amongst mm -hmm. each other. But basketball kind of gave us. A different kind of love for each other, you right. know, because he wanted in me what I didn't know I wanted in myself. Yeah, you know, when you have somebody that uh, <laughs> will <laughs> will go to the extremes of of whatever measure it took to make sure you had what you needed to have opportunity. Right. Man, that that's that's a that's a great feeling, you know. So I always had ultimate support. So Big Boo, you know, William Alexander, everybody knows that. I mean, mm -hmm. he's if he ain't the most important reason or the most important person along that, that journey, then yeah. like I said, I would I don't yeah. know who is, yeah. But, but I've had I have a lot of people who uh 
who always, you know, propelled me forward. You know, yeah. I've never been in too many situations where nobody was trying to take. I was the only negative mm -hmm. in my own life was always mm -hmm. myself. You know, mm -hmm. I was always my own worst enemy. But, you know, we're fortunate. You know, you, you, right. you, you try your best to, to, to do your best around, you know, with the situation and opportunities you give. And I just happen to be around some of the best that ever did it in the city. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I don't want to not mention Charles Davis because my relationship with Charles, Charles Davis is a little different. I wasn't yeah. a Charles Davis county yeah. kid right. yet. Mm -hmm. I wasn't that type of kid, but I had got to meet him on a higher stage. Right. And uh, once they let you know and uh, acknowledge that, hey, man, you, you could possibly be, like you say, you know, we, we could make a difference around yeah. here. And, uh, without a doubt. Yeah, and then to still sometimes to this day, be trying to make a difference without a basketball exactly. actually playing feels even better. Exactly. Yeah. So man, that's this is this is the boom boom room with your host Ron Slay. We got Dante Jones in here. Before we go any further and we get to the basketball part of you going to Stroud for what happened in and in, in that leading to the JUCO and everything, I want y'all to know. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. I didn't know this until probably about two months ago and I texted him immediately, hey man. They said you was cold at quarterback, yeah. man. I'm like, wait a minute, man. You know what I mean? Now, tell me about this, man. So you were playing quarterback, and you would take it down and run it, and you were good. Oh, like, you yeah. just wasn't, you know what I mean, got there playing it because your pops was coaching nah, or anything yeah. like that. You went out there and earned that spot. Tell yes, me sir. about that, that love of football, too. Well, I mean, like I said, I was just so competitive in everything that I did, but him being the coach yeah. also put extra pressure on me to perform mm -hmm. even more, you know, because it – I could never satisfy him. I could never get the appraisal or the approval right. from him that I always wanted. Right. So I just outdid everybody. Yeah. I tried my best to, you know, I'll run, I'll top. Like, yeah. And uh, like I say, he, he, he did teach me well. So once yeah. he put the ball in my hand and he, he taught me how to run offense and taught me how to read defense and little things like that, which right. I, I always brag to a lot of people. I was Cam Newton and that type of quarterback yes. well before. Mm -hmm. And I'm really gifted at it. You know, I was I was a football kid. And there's people that can back this up. <laughs> I, I, I heard it. Like I, I heard and it. Yeah, man. I, 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 Mess me up. Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't take a whole lot of credit. I know God gifted me with a whole right. lot of blessed me with a whole lot of gifts. Right. And I, everything I ever try sports wise, I tend to excel a little mm -hmm. bit. So I just was a naturally gifted kid. But football was my first love, still is to this yeah, day. Yeah. And um <laughs> and I, I just excelled at it naturally. And uh, right. once I got a little taller and start to feel myself out, I realized, man, if I'm going to keep playing football, I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Yeah. You know, we in a, you know, you perk on high school, on Stratford mm -hmm. High School, we run a whole lot of running play. We mm -hmm. run the football. Exactly. And then going into my sophomore year, I had to make a decision. I mean, right. if I'm going to run a, a smokestack power <laughs> IV offense yeah. where I'm getting hit on plays, yeah. I, don't yeah. know, I got to be careful. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just made a decision, you know, that I thought was the best for me. Yeah, and it was exactly. against my dad's will. It was against Stratford High School's yeah. will. You know, I just told him, I don't, I, we don't run, we don't throw the football. Mm -hmm. I'm a quarterback. <laughs> I've just come out one of the better freshman seasons, right. you know what I mean? And uh, it, the coach told me, Coach Leach, I remember the time he just told me, well, if you ain't going to be a quarterback, we put you a receiver. And I'm thinking to myself, well, we don't throw the ball. Why would I leave quarterback to play receiver? Right. You know what I mean? So I went over and told my dad, I don't think, I don't, I don't think I'm playing football anymore. Yeah. And that was probably one of the, Toughest moments yeah. in, in my life, and, yeah. you know, growing up, like you had to tell them that I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this no more. Mm -hmm. You know, and being so good and, and, and excelling, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But you, you know, this game of basketball, well, you had a, you had that same decision to make exactly. at the time, and you, know, exactly. you just have to make what you what you know is yeah. good for your heart. That's facts. You know, and, and that's kind of how we got to this point. That's how kind of how we still out here. Our heart mm -hmm. is, it, it drives us to be more than what people expect us. You know, we come from humble beginnings, and in your your situation, boy, you got a whole lot of you know, obstacles that you had to right. overcome and a whole lot of expectations that was already set out there before you. So, man, we we here. You know, yeah. like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm more privileged to be in here to share it with you just like we had a right. chance to share that SEC legend yes, sir. a couple years ago. Yes, it's like, sir. how could you plan things? Yeah, that's like no you? way possible. Yeah, and, uh, no way possible. Yes, like I said, we, we, we kind of wanted the same. Yeah. You know, we, we, we've we shared and we'll continue to share probably a lot for these kids <laughs> around here. Yeah. Yeah. But this, this is the outlet, man. Now yeah. we, we finally figure out how to get our point across mm -hmm. the way we want to get it across, mm -hmm. man. So, I'm a privileged man to be in the boom boom room. That, that is. But let's talk a little bit about you know you playing basketball. You made the decision, and what you what you as the viewers don't know. Um, whenever I do get the opportunity to tell my story, y'all gonna be tripping how the similarities. Yeah. You know what I mean? It go hand in hand. Like he made a decision this sophomore year. I made a decision my sophomore year. That was it. You know, so um, you made the decision going to play basketball. What what how did tell me how that journey went? Well, like I said, I, it's just weird because the, my, I, I'm skipping my freshman year, which mm -hmm. leads back to my middle school. We never lost a game in middle school at East Middle School, back to back right. city champs. So, right. but I was not the guy. I was right. so ninth grade. 
I, I don't know what happened. I became pretty good at. I was yeah. I was I in back in Yeah, <laughs> but my grades started to slip. Some right. personal things at home was going on that mm-hmm. kind of derailed me off my course. So I ended up flunking off the first semester of my. I mean, at the end of the first semester of my freshman year in high school. Wow. So people don't realize I missed that second semester on a team that lost by one point in the city championship. Yeah. So I don't win three straight years never losing a game from seven to ninth grade. Now let me pause there real quick. I missed the first semester of my freshman year. <laughs> see, see, I'm like, it's, see, I'm telling y'all, man, but this this is about my guy. I just get excited when I get to talk to my man, though, man, because the similarities are crazy. Oh, real. You know what I mean? So you missed that second year. You bounced back as, to the sophomore. Well, as a sophomore, the, the only my only full season of high school basketball was my sophomore year, which yeah. happened to be David Vaughn's senior year. <laughs> yeah. Mingo yeah. Johnson senior That's what year. I was going to say. Talk about the talent. Vaughn versus eighth grade go. year. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is some Jamon Wade. This mm-hmm. is some Bill Cobb Butler. These are some. All the Sims and that. See, now, see, now you're talking basketball. Mm-hmm. And, and, and at that time, I'm 15 year old sophomore. Right. A true sophomore. Right. First time in varsity started, first time out there in. Uh, this this one started all the jam rules at Maplewood. Yeah, we had Maplewood High School sold out. You can't get a baby in the gym. Mm-hmm. It's that many people in there. White Creek number one team in America, coming off a state tournament, runner up the year before. First, I'm talking about the first Jamboree game. Uh, I mean, first varsity game. Yeah, the Jamboree versus them. Yeah, we got five sophomores on on the court. Heck, how still at Maplewood? The gym's so small. <laughs> yeah, little sack. Yeah, little we sack. We down twenty two nut. Yeah. White Street 22 strap on high school zero in Camarillo. Yeah. But it seemed like it's 20 to 20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ball come off the rim. Mm-hmm. David Vaughn, the big homie. The reason we all get the attention without we get guy. without it to go. Mm-hmm. If you don't mention David Vaughn and, and everything yeah. lying there. Put the spotlight on the city. Yeah. Man, and mm-hmm. put the spotlight on me. Yeah. At a time, I didn't realize how big that spotlight right. was. Ball come off the rim. Big Dave got it. Yeah. I see it. I ain't scored a point in high school with Barson. I don't even. I see the ball, I run, I go get the ball yeah. out of his hand. And then the rest is history. Ooh. When 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 they tell you the story, I don't really understand what happened. Yeah. As a first two points in a high school game. Yeah. It's a catch off the rim dunk on David Vaughn. Tone seller. <laughs> the tone oh, that's set. it. And, and the that, tone that, that changed my whole basketball mm-hmm. life that day, because I know who he is. Right. I understand everything about white street right. basketball. That's yeah. coach really they coach. Yeah, rich tradition. Rich tradition. Rich tradition. basketball. So and then and it's just the light. Mm-hmm. And ever since that day right there, if I could do it on that stage against those guys, everything else would be a little easy. Right. And it just, just happened. In my right. sophomore year, I had probably 13, 14 a game, 10, mm-hmm. 11 rebounds, one of those type seasons. But for me, it was amazing. Like, they don't realize I hadn't even played much. Yeah. Yeah. We, we fast forward to having that sophomore year, I make all region team. I mean, we had, like I said, that's some of the greatest talent in the city at the mm-hmm. time. So my confidence is soaring. Right. But my personals are still going on because we got things at home that's going on that ain't quite smooth. So you know how that goes in our inner city like right. that. So I end up flunking off my junior year and breaking my leg. Right. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. played two two games my junior year. The second game back after I got myself eligible, I broke my leg. So imagine the let down there. So there you go. That, now you're a high school dropout. Yeah. Now, now your momentum, your confidence in yourself is gone. Now you're not looked upon right. as you were before. You right. know what I mean? Because now you're not in the in crowd. Yeah. You know, so mm-hmm. if, if things are going on, you, you, you know, you got strapped high school with the four horsemen, one of the best mm-hmm. football team, and you're supposed to be the quarterback, yeah. first of all. That's one part of it. See, first of all. Yeah. See, see, we're not even going <laughs> to, yeah. I'm supposed to be that quarterback. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Go to the semifinals, back to back, and, and the only thing they're missing is what you think is your time. Mm-hmm. Then your high school basketball team, one game, we hosting the regionals. If we win that regional, first game of the regional, that's yeah. Yeah. The doctor releases me to come back. You, we had Stratford watching Hillsborough mm-hmm. versus Stratford. I, yeah. I mean, I can just see it happen. We're going to win. I'll be back the next day. Right. We're on our way to Murfreesboro. It's on, yeah. We lose that game at home, hosting the district, hosting a regional tournament at Stratford to lose the first game. And, and and that changes the course of everything right there. Now I got to find me. Right. I got to find me. Then. Mm-hmm. I, 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 it takes me a year and a half to find me, but that right there let me know right then the game is taken away from me when I had done everything I'm supposed to do the right, right. way. Right, you know what I mean. Then right. it went. The like, injury I can't control. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. like I say, it just it just spiraled down with it. So I had to find myself. You know, like I said, you're a 16, 17 year old uh, without the game of basketball in your hand. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you, know you I mean? and, and, and at this time you are you are a inner city kid. It's, it's hands down East Nashville all day long, through and through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 
at that time, man, tell me the pressures that maybe you felt. Did you feel the the point the point that man, look at Tate, man, he ain't a lot of embarrassment. Right, I mean, the, the, the the embarrassment wasn't so bad because you know you hadn't had a chance and you hadn't put forth sure. the, quite the effort. So right. it was, but the expectation of your family and your personals and those people who knew your capabilities right. it was kind of embarrassing. You know, right. when they like, you know, you you didn't even give the effort. You yeah. you and so they looking at you in a way that. It, you know, yeah. You you let some people down, right? And uh, you know, we prideful. You know, without the last thing you want to do is let people without down without trying. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, and I just felt some kind of way I got to get myself. And uh, and ironic when I say this part of it, this when your mom kind of comes in <laughs> in the in the play, you right. know, because this is when I started turning my life around mm -hmm. and we over here, over with Kendall Stevens at right. Fast and the TSU, yeah, we yeah. doing yeah. things mm -hmm. and where the right people got to get their hands right. on you, Miss Vicky Warden. Right. And we got you got to get you a GED song. Right. Get you, and, and, and like I say, these are the people that I was just fortunate to be around in my mm -hmm. lowest. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't a negative, you know. You mm -hmm. know, I wasn't a bad kid. Right. I wasn't no, good, no, no. I was yeah. in there. You yeah. know, I was around whatever, whatever. That was going on. I was I had access to, it. and yeah. uh, and sometimes you grow up before your time for a reason. Yeah, you know it allowed me to just see, man, see and see and learn mm -hmm. and kind of the outside may have thought one way, and uh, perception is one thing, but reality is a whole yeah. another. And I was just learning and, and being close. My hands were never as dirty, and I was never as negative as the situation portrayed mm -hmm. itself. And um, and they end up you know saving me years down the line with right. some other things happening in your life where right. people are like, hold on, your characters don't fit. The incident, mm -hmm. and uh, we know you can be wrong place at the wrong right. time, right? And uh, so they, there you go, though. But uh, so what I what I like what I like about that is <clears throat> the kids that that would be listening to this man, he never let the atmosphere change his mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that's going on around him, even if you get down on yourself for a second, you know what I mean? You still and I always admired that about you. In the situation they threw you in, you always came out dusting it off. You know what I mean? And, and shining through it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's big time. Yes, and this was a, an incident yes, early. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So now you get to put your shining, your shining arm on, but first you're going through the fire. You go down to Juco. Man, and How it, you get down there and man, talk about that experience? It's, it's, it's uh, that, like I said, every story seems to be ironic. Like, it's, right. how did this happen? You know, right. I got one of my coach friends who actually helped me coach in my, in my youth program today, mm -hmm. Matt Coble. Okay. Um, we played AAU together in 91, 92, 93 in the early stages of the music scene, mm -hmm. which ended up y'all taking it to the next <laughs> level. Mm -hmm. And uh, But he yeah, he was a, he went to Murfreesboro, Oakland. He was a qualifier out of high school already. Uh, and he, he he had some offers, some mid-major offers, but he had an offer in Northwestern in the Big right. Ten. But he wanted to kind of see what this JUCO thing, and I don't know why what why he took a visit to a JUCO and do all of this. Yeah, you got him in Western right there. Yeah, so cool. he goes on the JUCO <clears throat> visit, and um, I, I tease him all the time, like, man, how, how, what kind of person does that? Yeah. He told the coach, listen, I'm down here. I'm just down here to work. I had a scholarship offer a couple of places. I, I know you're offering it to me. Right. I'm not going to take it, but please, it's a guy in Nashville that if you're going to give it to anybody, can you please call and give him a chance? I know what you may have, we're here and all that mm -hmm. may not be, but if you give him a chance, it would be the best thing you ever done. He told that man to call me. That man was in Nashville 48 hours later at Stratford High School on the campus I hadn't been on in three months. It's crazy. <laughs> I hadn't been on the campus yeah. in three months later. Yeah. So so when, when he came, I guess Matt had, had fed him everything that you're supposed to keep someone from the heart. Mm -hmm. And the man that came with a scholarship offer right there on the table for me on a, on a raw visit in Stratford when I went into that school. My mom had to find me to tell me to be up to the school. The yeah. college coach is going to be here yeah. like that. So mm -hmm. people don't really realize I was so far off. The, mm -hmm. I wasn't on the bad path. I just wasn't on the path. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I had no clue these things would happen to me that fast. But mm -hmm. like I said, we getting around the right people or, or right. fortunate enough to be around these people that got your best interest in. Right. No matter how negative or sour you are to yourself, you always had people who... And like I said, once they once I got that JUCO scholarship and, and, and I, I still hadn't got my GED. Right. Still hadn't done all the things that I was supposed to do, but the scholarship was there. Yeah. So two months into you got to take now. Two weeks into the season, mm -hmm. they come to get me, it's time to go to school, I ain't took my tissue. <laughs> yeah. See, so now school started two weeks in. I ain't took the test. These folks still ain't gave up on me. They come get me. Right. Not after they see my school. I take the test. Yeah. And then go to school. Yeah. They don't know what my school is going to be. I ain't been to school in a year and a half. And you can trust my school to get you enrolled down here because once them scores come in, you, yeah. got, you become eligible. Immediately. Yeah, it's time to go. So so me not knowing my own self, academically inclined enough mm -hmm. at the time 
think I done not think I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. You excel on the GD test like it was nothing. Yeah. But they know and already know you after two. They already right. know. So so they know these things a little bit ahead of you. Just get them in the place. Get, Man, That's man. all you gotta do. Get him in place. He's gonna take care of the rest. You get him in the place. You hear what you say? Yeah. And then he's gonna take care of the rest. There you go. So yeah. so once I got to Mississippi and stopped crying halfway to Memphis when I was crying all the way up. Because I never left home. Yeah. Never been away. Don't know what I'm going to. Right. Crying like a baby. Mm -hmm. But once something happened, once I got past the Memphis and I knew he don't go back. And this man talking to me the whole way and said, Man, you probably, from what I've seen and heard, and he ain't seen me nothing straffle in the little PE workout. Yeah. He's got a possibility to be one of the best kids. And he told me that the first day he met me. I love Big Bobby Knight looking coach. Strong, yeah. stern. I ain't gonna play with you, man. Right. My dad. Right. See, there you go. You right. Know, so when he take me down there, you know what happens after that. Mm -hmm. the, the world opens up to me. I yeah. see my opportunity. This time it's on me. Right. This time it's on me to do everything I'm supposed to do. And you know how many opportunities yeah. I almost blew in junior mm -hmm. college, just mm -hmm. like we all do. Right. Without yeah. doubt. But, but like I said, once I got there, man, it, it, it opened my life up. It gave me the opportunity to play. Yeah. I hadn't played basketball on a consecutive stretch in a long time. Mm -hmm. and I grew up in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I grew up on the Juco circuit on the court. I really learned a whole lot of basketball in a short period of time down right. there. And it's still learning the game today. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're yeah. still learning it today. Without a doubt. And but you yeah. see that, and you see that on that Juco circuit, that's a different so for you guys that's just think is uh, you know, I'm gonna go to Juco, then I'm get out of Juco. No. <clears throat> it's a different mentality down there in Juco. You gotta be a different kind of dog. To go down there and get it because everybody trying to get it. Every person. You know what I'm saying? And then you're not down there with the 17, 18. It might be somebody out of 22, 23 just looking for an opportunity. And and it pops a 26 year old. Come on now. Family man. Come on now. Who worked yeah, and lived exactly. their life. Yeah. Exactly. So you go down there, you thrive first year, going into the second year. Tell me about that second year, how you explode on to a Mississippi State. Man, man this one, Tim, we, 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 we fortunate, you know, because my, my freshman year in Juco, I ended up being a national freshman of the year. Mm -hmm. We were ranked the entire year. Uh, fell short of going to the national tournament, but for some reason, Sam Newton, the old Vanderbilt coach and athletic director in old Kentucky, I'm talking about one of the greatest mm -hmm. ambassadors to the SEC. You could right. Wrote a letter to the United States Olympic Committee on my behalf. Yeah. Saying that I know you rarely take JUCOs and I know this is this or whatever he wrote, but he wrote it to the United States Olympic Committee to say I should be invited to the Olympic Festival. Yeah. There you go. That song. Mm hmm. This is. But think about these people. For yeah. Sam Newton. Yeah. <laughs> Putting his neck out there. For Dante Jones, how's it going? about Judy Collins mm -hmm. in Mississippi, some things going on, but CM Newton. If yeah. you know who CM Newton oh, is. Oh, no, they check out the boxes. So let's go way listen to him. Yeah. So if he, he, he's an advocate for struggle, not in. Mm -hmm. So I don't know all this at the right, time. I right. had to go back and figure out why you fight for me. Yeah. But he wrote that letter, and then I was invited to the Olympic Festival immediately following our season. I knew I was going to St. Louis, Missouri that summer. So you go from JUCO to so my end of my freshman year yeah. to the top JUCO talent to yeah. the top Ray Allen. Yeah, Tony hey, you know, that's what I want you to get into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the talent that you were around being. At that, Gerard Ward, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, like mm -hmm. I said, Eric Dampier who ended up being my team, right. Right? Otis Hill who ended up beating us in the final. Right. I mean, these are guys up there that you looked at, mm -hmm. if I can compete on this level, then I'm really close. Again. Again. Here you go again. First, First you stop on you. Now here we are at this level. It's another test. And, and after two weeks, you top five player in the whole yeah. building. Yeah. Out of 50 kids. Mm -hmm. that are the 50 under 20 at best. Mm -hmm. you think about the confidence building. When well, they don't know my struggle to get to that Yeah, point. they just they, you pop, dropped into it. See, and now you're doing, you're competing like this. And I'm keeping it all up tight because I'm realizing I'm getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. Re Lawrence Wright, rest in peace. He was there with me the whole time. Yeah. So people that knew they were on the route. Right. Versus me who just... I'm kind of glad to yeah. be here, but when this game start, oh yeah, um, and, and it happened again. Like I said, you leave the Olympic Festival still unsigned as a junior college player, mm -hmm. so the hype on you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Nolan Richardson now, they just come off the last championship, right. and they said, you they prize recruit. Yeah. Man, he just put you on blast. Oh, nah, the light there. So everywhere, uh, everywhere uh, you going. <laughs> the right people have to say, hold on, hold on, we ain't done yet. Put this light on the One more time. I either ran over, wait a minute, let me put it on. Can't run from him, man. You know what I mean? Once he put his hands on you the way that he's supposed to, well, the way that he does it, mm -hmm. you, you have no choice but to follow the script. Things, yeah. Without a doubt. You know, and it just happened, like I said, things just kept soaring and soaring. Went into my sophomore year at junior college mm -hmm. with the head this big. Yeah. Yeah. Complete. <laughs> it's going to pop. Right. Because they can't tell it no more. Yeah. But I didn't let that 
stop my game. Mm -hmm. I work now really knowing I got to work mm -hmm. because people don't realize I only played 33 high school games to get to this point. Right. I'm, I'm the least, yeah, so I'm going to play every time. Uh -huh. National Junior College Player of the Year, my sophomore year, take us to the Nationals. We finished mm -hmm. top 15, 16 in the nation with a group. We no way we make it to the Nationals. Right. But we do. Right. So, like I said, now I'm signed in Mississippi State. So now I'm a different guy by the end of the year. Yeah. I'm already signed and yeah. committed. Yeah. And now I'm running around as one of the top prize recruits in the country for the next level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you, we, we all know what happened to Mississippi State. We were right in Mississippi yeah. State. We, 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 we get there thinking we somebody. This wrong. We thinking we somebody. So, you get put with a group of talent. My man, D. Will. Daryl Wilson. Daryl Wilson. Yeah, that's it. Down. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. Down oh, God. Y'all love it. Marcus Bullock. Marcus yeah, Bullock. Forgot about Bullock. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had a grown, <clears throat> the best team I've ever had, the best team I'd ever played on before I got to the NBA. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know how that goes. But that yeah. team was, the, I was not the, when I first got there, I realized, you know, I mean, yeah. you, it's no, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I ain't yeah. lift enough weight. They yeah. eat good. Right. <laughs> Do the normal yeah. play. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I can't get off of here. This yeah. ain't right. Let me, mm -hmm. and, and it's a reality check. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. so you need to tell me, y'all think I'm going to add to y'all. I'm, I'm going to be the reason we better. How? <laughs> I can't on, get through this. A lot going on down here. Yeah, it's a lot going on down here. But, but but for you saying that, just let you know with, with those type of talented guys who have been there a couple of years before you on that level, mm -hmm. let you know all you gotta do is continue as you work. Right. That's embrace. Yeah. That's yeah. how you go from like we do from home, and then we get a yeah. chance to express ourselves. Like, why are they so animated? Why do they love what they do? Right. Well, if you knew, if yeah, what it took for me to get, to get to this opportunity. this point. Yes, sir. Man. You'll see it. You, <laughs> You'll like, oh, that's why you get that. That's why it's better than me. You know, mm -hmm. that, bigger than me. You see, and but we automatically, yeah, because yeah. we set some standards, and some folks have set some standards before us, and um, we just want to make sure that role mm -hmm. going forward, like we keep talking now from high school to JUCO to Mississippi mm -hmm. State, and then the ultimate comes when we go on that run. Right. right? You, right. you go from being a student who's hype around campus yeah. because everybody see you walk around good to now you're a national media darling mm -hmm. by default. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't try. Yeah. It just so yeah. Right, you're in the boom boom room, man. I'm Ron Slay, your host. I got my special guest, my brother Dante Jones. We want to dive into what I know you as the viewers want to know about this run in Mississippi State. Now, before you even get out there to lace them up, talk about the journey. Because we know it's hard. You got to get acclimated to the plays. You got to get acclimated to the school. Yeah. These guys, they out here lifting. You coming in scrawny. Uh, you know what I mean? Just super <laughs> athletic, jumping out the gym. But it's no different when that, when that body on you and everything. I have no clue. They have no clue. Talk about the preseason leading up to that. Man. Well, first of all, I didn't realize it myself, so I, I was hurt already. I had, a, I had a stress fracture in my foot that we didn't realize until two, three weeks later. Right. After I had complained and whined so much <laughs> that they had to realize, oh, look, yeah. something has to be wrong because he, there's no way he's just whining. Yeah. And I'm not whining. I don't, I, mm -hmm. I don't have a high threshold for pain. Yeah. And I'm a new cat. So the new cat can't come in the boxing yeah. work and the football little complex yeah. workouts complaining. Yeah. Running the stairs and the bleachers. Yeah. You, you can't come complaining. So I'm knowing, I'm hurting a little bit, but I can't tell them nothing right now. <laughs> and it ain't hurting so bad. Right. I'm straight. Because we weren't hooping. You're just doing right. your work. So, you, mm -hmm. But we were doing a drill one time and, uh, on the turf in the football. Mm -hmm. uh, little 50-yard to half yep. complex. Mm -hmm. And we hit the line. And when I come off the line to push off, it was like lightning rod shot yeah. down the field. And they, I guess they saw my reaction when it happened. Right. I kind of screamed a little bit. Yeah. like, and, and, and right then, they're like, no, no, that's enough. And then we need to look at it right then. And, yeah. and, and they sent me to the little uh, sports, the little, uh, uh -huh. little train we had. Right yeah. mm -hmm. And they actually had a little funny looking look at it. They sent me to West Point Hospital. And the rest is his. I was having surgery a couple of days later. Wow. You get surgery fresh on campus. You know what I mean? You made it to the practice. You're doing agility and conditioning. I'm to my, uh, it's, we ain't shot the ball. Yeah. So look how far yeah. behind I am and look how mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really probably not even going to get my opportunity right away if I ain't good enough. Right. Because you can't be behind. Yeah. We're already behind, like you so, said. Uh, yeah. So like I said, it, it, it happened like it happened. My foot was broke. They found that out. They immediately got me taken care of. Put the screw in it. Yeah. Put the screw in it. Yeah. In my foot. Wow. I'm back. By, by October 15th, which is Midnight Madness, mm -hmm. that's my first day back. I'm lying to myself. Yeah. I'm definitely lying to everybody else about the level of pain. Right. But I can, I can, I 
Yeah, I got. I, I can't go back down. We yeah. on ESPN or anything like that. Man, yeah. 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 Mississippi State ever been on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, I see all the ESPN. Yeah. And and, and, and I kind of I got out there and I kind of you know I did a couple of things the first couple of moments that let me know I might be okay. Yeah. As far as my ability to play with mm-hmm. these cats, but you could just see if you could see that that game that little maroon and white game, you realize yeah. I was way. Behind, right, and I probably was way behind the first half of the year. Yeah, and just because your talent able to, and them boys was just good enough, it right. made me look a little better. But I was nothing the first half. Of the yeah, they held it. They held it down. You know what? That's why you mentioned what you mentioned mm-hmm. coming into it. That talent around. Yeah, and, uh, but, so y'all get ready to go on that run. Well, before how we did the run? Game get Kentucky. Ignited. Yeah, the, the, we play Kentucky first. Okay, at our place. Okay. You know, you only get them there in the East when the West when right. got them at that time mm-hmm. one time, and they came to our place. Ranked number one in the nation, and at that time I think we were nineteen, twenty, but we were we were thinking we were somebody, mm-hmm. and then and, and it mm-hmm. happened. You know, yeah. we we would leave by one, with probably nine or ten minutes to go in the game, and ended up winning by twenty. Yeah, off of my, you know, I I I made a couple of mistakes and a right. couple of decisions that I went against the game plan that cost mm-hmm. dearly, and I know it did. Yeah, I took the blame, I blamed, even though the other boys were saying it was a whole lot of that. I knew Mm-hmm. So in the, from that Kentucky game, I always I made it a point from that I'm, I'm going I'm to stick to the script. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to play my game. To that point, was that the biggest game of that the, season the so far? Game of my life mm-hmm. at that time mm-hmm. because it's, spotlight on they rocking, yeah. y'all rocking. It's time to show. It's Nashville on and, Nashville and, and, on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, come on, this, this is like you. This is my good friend. This mm-hmm. is me and him. Can't believe us. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, right. We, we, yeah. And we got to go against each other. Yeah. So, you know, we were winning. We were there. We know we could play with the best mm-hmm. in America for a minute. Can't right. make mistakes, though. Yeah. And who made the biggest mistake? I had eight turnovers. I'll never forget. I had eight turnovers. Mm. I ain't even a point guard. I ain't had the ball that much. I, I, I was shot attempts. Yeah. What was I doing with the ball that had that many turnovers? Right, right. And then you see when we fast forward a little bit later after we went through a little tough stretch from that loss, we lost a couple of more mm-hmm. that we shouldn't have lost, but we, it built some character. Right. And we ran off probably 17 of our last 19 or right. something like that right. to end the season, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But that Kentucky game the first time, just it was a wake-up call. Yeah. We, had, we had got too big for our britches. We right. were we walking around right. like with somebody. Yeah. And they put a Happens through season. This season <laughs> roller coaster. Yes, sir. It's just about how you count mm-hmm. back out of that season. Um, mm-hmm. Y'all get ready to go in the SEC, uh, uh, SEC tournament. Now it's, it's, it's bubbling. We roll, we rolling at that mm-hmm. time. Yeah, we, yeah. we ran off. Like I said, we still on that stretch. Of, Things done click. Yeah, we we probably one of the hottest teams in America. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm feeling like if I can keep balling like this, I might got an opportunity to be one of these cats in the right. NBA. This is when the talk started to happen. Yeah, yeah. But prior to then, you really not talking that. You know that yeah. you don't run yeah. around saying I'm going to the mm-hmm. NBA. Mm-hmm. But some some people started to you know, hey man, you're doing a nice run. Your squad is balling. If you can keep going, right? And we just went in there with an SEC tournament blindfold, yeah, with a blindfold on. It don't yeah. matter who the opponent is. We have to play our game. You want to? And uh, we we beat Auburn the first game, which we had just beat them in the last game of the regular season, yeah. which was like kind of like yeah. we just beat them and then we come again. So either I don't know if that was the advantage or what it was, but. We ran on and took care of that, and we played Georgia, which ironically was the only team I didn't play against in the season. Really? I had to sit out one game in the SEC season that was it. because I'm a JUCO transfer. Right. All JUCO have a moment, right. and at that time it was serious. Right. You know, and if you most JUCOs at that time, if you sat out, you probably missed multiple games mm-hmm. in the season. Well, we jumped ahead of the game, and I sat out without incident. Right. But it happened to be the Georgia game, one of the biggest games of the year, and we pulled it off without me. Yeah. So imagine my feeling again, like, oh my. Yeah. Team be one of the best teams without me. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that day, yeah, home. I got to get this. Yeah, because they yeah. really can't do this. Part. Yeah, exactly. Like I know that I know they didn't embrace me and everything. Hold on, and then, Hold on. Look, and then look what happened next game. Before we can even get to the next game, we have a snowstorm in Mississippi yeah. where they pushed the Auburn game two yeah. two days back, so we can't get out of Mississippi. Yeah. That's it in the sky. Mm-hmm. The next when we when the snowstorm over, we finally got to the plains down mm-hmm. in Auburn. Yeah. Best game I had in the whole up until that up until that point. Right, that was the best game I had ever right. played. Was at Auburn after that Georgia game I missed yeah. in the in the, in the uh, snowstorm. Yeah, because I thought it was you know you kind of think because you don't know during the snowstorm are they going right? Would it play it? What, what's going on? Am I playing? Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to be eligible? Because yeah. Jesse, <laughs> Jesse Payton, mm-hmm. rest in peace, Jesse Payton. Right. Then it's Sunday out of Bayo, Mucci mm-hmm. Norris, Chris Davis, yeah, all Sunday. them. Yeah. Man, they all getting suspended. Mm-hmm. They season over. Yeah, yeah. only don't take y'all. So right. I'm like, here we go again. I got my little, mm-hmm. I done, my pass again. Yeah. And you know what happened there? Yeah, Once they let you go pass it. Yeah. That, that was, 
It happened. Yeah. Everything happened until you seen us at the final four was from propelled from that moment when I got a chance to realize, oh, they gave me another chance. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and everything else was just like I said. You got the most outstanding player of the SEC tournament also. So the ball, that's, the that's ball cool. bounced right that night. Sometimes it bounced right. It bounced right that night. Sometimes it bounced right. I watched you go from 40 and 40 with Kevin Martin one yeah. time and saw the ball bounce. See what I'm saying? It bounced. Yeah, it, it, not to say it can't It's part yeah. of it. It's part a of. great feeling when you know you're a part of mm -hmm. watching that ball go in and mm -hmm. you've done all the things that you know you're supposed to do. Right. You know, and, and it just was a makeup from that prior game. Like that's I said, we, saying, we yeah. came in confident. You know, we right before the game, we went out before we went out to the tunnel. You could peep out. You know how the Superdome if you've been yes. there. Or if you play playing Kentucky Pier. Yep. It's a sea of blue. Yep. So we we in the tunnel. They're on the far end of the Superdome. We're on the same end. Jordan there yeah. have been on in the Superdome. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know your history and your yep. nostalgia. So we get ready to come out, and you could just feel the, the arena. Yeah. Know? It's but it's still twenty six thousand. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> now you can see our boys get a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like you know? okay. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. the moment as soon as I seen it, I don't know what to this day is part of our Mississippi State history. Right. But for some reason, I just kind of hit them with you know look here, man. Look. They the best team in the country. Yeah. They the number one team on the east side. Right. We won the top teams in the country. We the number one team on the west side. Right. We got ourselves in this problem. We might as well dig ourselves out of it. Let's go get it. And, and, it, and it, it's like they took it like, well, forget about it. Yeah. If, if whatever happened will happen. Yeah. And when you touch the ball three, five times, they go in. It's on. Against them? No, it's on. You know, against them? No, it's on. <laughs> and you can it's see on. them because now your home is Ron Mercer over there. Mm -hmm. Your, team, your opponent that you've been playing against for a couple of years, Derek Anderson. Mm -hmm. Then you got Antoine Walker, who right. gave you much respect on right. any level. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's a guy, and Tony Dick is your mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. So they're not disrespectful. They understand what they're up against this night. Right. Maybe Rick Patino didn't know at the present time, yeah. but mm -hmm. them boys had play, They knew what the players were. Yeah. And they they happened, and, and boy, it happened. Mm hmm. And you know, it, for the it didn't even just happen for me. I think it happened for all of Nashville mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. You know, because that, that was a – we couldn't dream of that one. No. You know, the, the <laughs> only game on college – only yeah. college basketball game on TV at that time Come on, on that Sunday. Come on, that's the – that that's, that's the best thing about the SEC, man. We get the last – We get the last game before the NCAA committee get the picking the, – the selection son. Um, hey, man, nothing um, like it. Um, um, when you say that about the selection committee, that will make that – that that's so crazy. Yeah. They had already spotted them before, right there before we played yeah. the game. We the five seed. We, mm -hmm. we didn't know, but you could just tell. Right. Why we still right. the five seed? We just yeah. it was already sick because they already know they're gonna be there. Mm -hmm. And we just changed the course of history, which for us was the greatest thing ever happened in our schools. Existence. Now let me ask you something. During that game, did you hurt your foot that game? I forgot. I got so high. I forgot all about that. And, and let me say, right let me, I remember it watching it. I remember watching it. I in remember the saying. What's my guy named Larry? Um, well, I think Larry Merch. Not Larry Merch. He's a boxer. Um, darn, I forgot his name, but that's my guy. Um, I too. He, um, you did you you hurt? You, you came up limping. I think you came yeah. out for a second. You came straight out from the finish the head. Yeah, no, didn't, I finish. Think didn't finish. Didn't I'll tell you what happened when I went. In, when that happened right there, mm -hmm. th it, that's the re-break of my my foot. Right, which yeah, we heard in the draft mm -hmm. and everything. I played the rest of the. Mm -hmm. I went in the tunnel in the, in the locker room right away, and uh. You know, to kind of, because they knew it was serious. Everybody right. knew it was kind of serious, and uh, they called my mama. Right. And said, people don't know how I'm telling it now. It's just going to tell me later. Yeah. But we were in the locker room laying on the table crying. I'm, I'm man, I'm going to feel it. It's, yeah. And I'm crying like a little kid. I'm like, man, but I'm not boo hoo but the tears right. right. So they called my mama, like, listen, you know the situation. I already had a stress fracture, so we know what's going on. He says he felt something pop in it, yada, yada, yada. This is what we can do right now. Right. So at this time, I'm about to get this, the cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No him up, let's roll. But I, but my mom on the phone, <clears throat> I got you know we got to kind of make it. Mm -hmm. So I asked her mom what you think. She 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 on the other end. She love you the recipe. My mom to my sister, boy. If you think you can go out there and play, go play. Go play. Yeah. That's when you don't ask me. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. I'm crying like a man. <laughs> I turn my head slow. Yeah. Like yeah. Get to and, and, yeah. and, and then mm -hmm. what you see in the first five minutes before I started limping again yeah. was all of that coming out of that locker room. I didn't, the bo I didn't see the boys. I yeah. just heard them in there. I didn't get back. When I came out, yeah. like when it's real, yeah. that's, and that's why I say, man, the, the, the good Lord blessed me some, some ways that I, I still don't get to pinpoint. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even want to challenge why. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, it, it allowed me. Like, yeah. dang, dude, you, you, you ain't had no bend. The foot broke already right. in like a year. Right. Break your foot in the biggest game of your life. 
and play a whole kill. NCAA yeah. tournament with this broke foot. Right. Drafted on draft day, knowing you're going to just have surgery two days later, right. no matter who drafted you. So I don't, I don't get to complain. You come back out, you hit the three, and they call a timeout, and you jump up. You. <laughs> and you're like that. And they say, I don't think it's nothing wrong with this foot right here. <laughs> Mr. Jones is okay. I'm like, hey, man. Now, the funny thing about that, man, <laughs> the funny thing about that, like these moments, you don't know the effect that it's having on <laughs> guys like myself that's coming up through the ranks. Because you, know, you, know, you, know, you live in the moment. Exactly. You don't, you don't have a clue. Exactly. Until you, until you see you airplane it. Yeah. A young man yeah. down the court. Yeah. 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 They really watch because you right. you haven't been second to no one, right? You know, what I mean, right. we've always had this certain whatever that was from mm-hmm. the moment. Yep. yep. But we never talked about it. We right. Never. Ever. It, never talked about it. It never was. <laughs> it was never hope. It was yep. like we just know. Yep. We here. Yep. If we opposite each other, mm-hmm. you know how that challenge go. Yep. Exactly. If we right here beside, and that's the beauty of whatever it is. Whatever whatever, it is. Yeah. But when you say <laughs> brother. Big brother, look, bro, yeah. we can really attest to that because we've always treated each other fair like right. that. But this game has allowed us some similarities to on accident, really mm-hmm. allow us to be comfortable mm-hmm. and saying, hey, man, that's 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 my brother. Right yeah. Because around the world, you know how people treat it. Yeah. I know you got the most swag. I know what you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but but, 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 but but the enjoyment, man, and the enjoyment of, of knowing that you accomplished, yeah. you know what I mean? With a ball that that not many people have is just a great feeling. I didn't I didn't get to do so much in the NBA, like most in my class. But before we even get there, I got another moment leading up before we even, we even get to the draft because '96 draft arguably um, one of the best drafts to ever go down in history. Um, you were involved in that, but yes. before that spot, give me the moment, the snapshot that's seen around the world. Oh man! I think and, I know. And, 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 and you going up to get it, yeah. Ray, and Ray is right there. Friends too. Yeah, yeah. And that, that that's the guy. And but look, look in that moment, though, look what it did. Look at uh, one of the guys I've been knowing from right. Dallas, South Carolina. I never right. knew we would get to the moment. Been knowing Ray. Right, right, right. Give but, me and that. Give me that right there. Right well, now yeah. that you can look back on it in the hindsight, what was what, what I'm about to say? That? It'll trip you out. Mm-hmm. And, and it's so weird. I can see my, I'm on the side of the basket. And we seen the Ooh come. Yeah. Like, you know when the Ooh come. Yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing it. Right. They seeing it too. The basket here, I'm here. My mom and dad are sitting right there. Mm-hmm. Like, if you see me, yeah. how, when I, once I called and came down, I see my, my sight automatic. It's right there. Yeah. Before that happened, whatever, I didn't even know where they were in the game. Yeah. No, you don't even know it. When I came down and seen it, I'm like, yeah. On Ray Allen, though. Yeah. So that's not. Mm-hmm. We know that's Jesus. Yeah, that, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Married. Yeah. Hands down, of course. But the most important when I caught it and I seen my mom and dad, I mean, it was a great yeah. a feeling that only you know when mm-hmm. you get that, that euphoric moment mm-hmm. because it was that moment. Right. And the rest of the day was just who. Yeah. Once yeah. I caught that who, like, I mean, you, if you look at the game, yeah. I didn't have a fantastic game. Right. I had an excited, aggressive. Right. Glad to be in a moment game. My mom and them in Lexington, Lexington yeah. and Rupp. Yeah. Watching him play. Yeah. Yeah. How they get to the game? Right. <laughs> right. Back then, this ain't the new. No. Uh-uh. This ain't the yeah. new way. You automatically go to the uh-uh. game. No, uh uh-uh. uh, not at all. Mom, mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, hold on, but when I come out the tunnel to start the game on the other side of the court, mm-hmm. big boy right there standing mm-hmm. on the edge. See, these are staying there with Yeah. So, so. Mm-hmm. Like I say, these these moments are always a great reflector, you know what I mean, of a lot of people's efforts other than mine. Right. You know what I mean? And, I, and, I, and that's why I always get so excited about the journey part of it because it, it was so many other people involved that may not get to enjoy yes. it. But yeah. seeing us, like I say, seeing us yeah. celebrate and do what they know, yeah. there they go. They do it for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so man. take me to the 96 draft. Arguably, <laughs> the greatest draft it, it, it was. They say it Next. Was. To Michael Jordan. I, next, I happen to fall into the old three draft. Did LeBron? Know. So it, yeah. So it, if you I'm, mention it anyway, we I'm cool. telling you, like we I'm cool. Cool. <laughs> we cool. I'm telling you, like come I'm, on, I'm man. the worst of all three drafts. Of yeah. all the drafts, I'm the last <laughs> man. I'm still, I'm good. You come still, on, man. That's, it don't even matter. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, well, a lot of it, a lot of it, I, I knew I was going to get drafted. Mm-hmm. You know, the confident wise, I mm-hmm. once the season it kind right. of settled. Like, man, I'm, I'm going to the NBA now. Right. How or what that was going to be like, we yeah. didn't know that at the time. 
but I had only had workouts with the top ten teams, right. and then I worked out with Kobe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I worked out with with, with uh, John Wallace and, mm -hmm. and Walter McCarty and, and Antoine Walker, who was supposedly at that time we all the top small fool. Right. Kira Killer, my back can't be Kira. Yeah. So I'm like, man, if this is how it's supposed to go down. I'm probably mm -hmm. gonna be an NBA player. Right. You know what I mean? And it just it, it happened so fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? It happened before I even realized it. I was up under the knife in New York, yeah. having surgery on my That's foot. What I was gonna say. So that that quick, mm -hmm. you know. And a lot of people was going to a jewelry store, and went mm -hmm. to a fantabulous store. Mine went from instantly getting drafted, taking a picture, go get surgery, go get surgery yeah. stay, in, stay in New York for a whole week. Mm -hmm. with no fanfare, no parents, no, no, no just you, yeah. the doctor, yeah. and the construction woman, and right. Rudy, John, <laughs> Rudy Giuliani and Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what I'm telling y'all, the viewer. If you don't know, man, you're in the Boom Boom Room, the host Ron Slate, got Dante Jones here. If you don't know, Tay, without this injury, they find things, man, to knock you Listen and, you, you know what I mean, so they can save Listen money you. and every. It's Listen. a whole lot to go into. Listen to you. you without know. this injury, I know it. Don't, let's I know it. I know it. I'm speaking experience. Without this injury, this man is top nine. Hands down, there's yeah. no question about it. Yeah. Put me on the record for saying it until anybody and come ask me. I'm not even, man, I, I, I don't, I brag different. Right. You know, we built right. a brag different. Right. But I just know, barring injury, man, mm -hmm. and, and everything that went on with that draft class, mm -hmm. they respect me. You know, they, I, I mean, God, yeah, I, I don't. Woo. <laughs> you just hit it there, boy. I don't, I don't, you I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of. Regret or negative, I just wanted to show. I didn't right. get a chance to show. Right. And then you're talking about being able to be right here with Kobe one day. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to the mom, but I'm talking mm -hmm. about me and Kobe. I'm right, right here with him. I'm, I'm, me and Kobe working good. We're right. doing what we do. So if he's one of the greatest ever gonna live, yeah. I'm right here at this yeah. time. Yeah. I don't get to prepare myself. Yeah. And uh, that that's the only hurt. Yeah. When when you look raw talent and you look at Carmelo Anthony, which is one of my favorite on the Texas Carter, then yeah. the Martin Rose. And, yes. and I look at my young man, Sean Marion, who came mm -hmm. right after me mm -hmm. because of certain things. You'd be like, man, if I had that opportunity, if my boy could do it his mm -hmm. way, imagine that. Right. So it's never not a knock on your own. Right. But give me that opportunity a certain way, and I can show you better than the conversation. And I, but, but you you know, we. we we uh, on the road, let's travel. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I say that a lot of times when I've been doing a lot of speaking, a lot of questioning and asking mm -hmm. me questions. And, and, and I'm just saying on the road, let's travel. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, <laughs> if I knew what was about to happen, I'd be so much more sharp. <laughs> right, right. You know I mean, I'd right. be so much more prepared. I just wanted to play the game so bad. Right. I just wanted to be out there on the court to prove that I was one of the best basketball players every time. And I think yeah. that's the coldest thing, Tay, not to cut you off, but man, for the viewers to realize, man, between my journey, his journey, Anything. One thing is a fact. We can walk in any room, yes. any draft class that we were in, and I can yes, guarantee yes, you the respect yep. level is yep. right there. Yep. And I'm and this. And we talking about some of the greats. The, some you know what I mean? And we're gonna say this. We're gonna leave this right here. <laughs> you might not never get to hear say this again, <laughs> but it's a guarantee, man. We all don't get to, got to sit at the table. And they all done pointed us and be like, "No, nah, yep. you call." Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? A that's, that's a fact. Bro. Oh, ain't nothing like that. Yeah. Cause we know, like we, we know that and like I, I didn't get a chance to, you didn't get a mm -hmm. chance to, a couple of our, our greats that would have been really instrumental in the success mm -hmm. of our future basketball player. We didn't get a chance to express right. ourselves. Right. And uh, and then maybe to the detriment of some of our own yeah. roughness yeah. around the edges, yeah. which makes us even more better now. You yeah, know exactly. I mean? yeah, but, <laughs> but I, I, I look back on a lot of things and say to myself, was our confidence accidentally or mistakenly took for arrogance yeah. in a way that they rub some people who give us a fair chance right away. Right. Because we if they know how much love and care we have for mm -hmm. you know for the game itself, mm -hmm. then we, it's no way we don't get a fair shot, big dog. Without you know, we, we, we didn't get a fair shot. That goes without for Jamal. Yeah. You know, without I'm, a not, doubt. I'm not gonna sure down, no, without a doubt. Without you know, a doubt. We talking to Jamal Moore, one of my mm -hmm. own. I'm gonna just look bro to mm -hmm. him. We're the same we so much similar that Maybe it's a Nashville thing. We yeah, just don't yeah. get respect on the yeah, journey. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, but, 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 I, but I'll tell you this one thing. You know, the, the, the journey of a role that's travel has to be what it is for me to be here standing. That exactly. I don't I don't get to enjoy the boom boom room. Right. If if I don't go do it, not right. the way that we supposed to. Right. You know, I maybe I make it to the boom boom room. Right. We talking about enjoying. Yeah. Bro, we did this, man. Yeah. We we did some things that our moms dreamed mm -hmm. and cried and sacrificed mm -hmm. and. 
and we both like we can look on the wall. Yeah, and, and we can really see ourselves and say, "Dude, so what?" Yeah. And the same day you yeah. went in, I went in. Yeah. And it, it, it's a, it's that was a, special, man. It, it, that it's was special. special that what you're doing, making sure you bring the light to yeah. a few. You yeah. know, it's yeah. some guys that need to, some of the stories need to be told yeah. and, and followed up on. And um, like mm -hmm. I said, I, I'm, I'm just glad to be that that asset and that tool you use, man, because it's not going to be many to experience our journey. Right. And it's not definitely not going to be many to be able to come back and tell it at home. Yeah. You know, we right That's here. Facts. Yeah, That's Yeah, we right facts. here, man. The NBA. Now, I have stories that I can reach back to, definitely, and I can see faults of mine. Um, wow. One, wow. <clears throat> not signing a partial guarantee. Wow. Pride got in my way. Yeah. Dumbest thing ever. Not realizing to, yeah. Like, just get your foot in the door, man. Yeah. Like, all you had to do is go show. We didn't have a, we, but nobody was there to tell. Yeah, we didn't have so much advice exactly. like that. Like we just spoke on. Exactly, exactly. We tried it ourselves. Right, right. So tell me, where you think your fault went wrong at, especially you got it. Like, it was a lot. Just immaturity. Yeah, lockout, all this going on. It all adds up, but mm -hmm. when I say immaturity, I'm not saying a, a, a immaturity in the fact that I was wild and reckless. Right. I was more immature in the fact that I hadn't had enough experience in the path that I was on. Right. We, mm -hmm. You know, we like I said, you're a high school dropout, you had to see the kid, the mm -hmm. dream wasn't there right away. Mm -hmm. Whereas them boys, 11, 12, 13 years old, were already in that mindset. Right. Right. So I was immature on the discipline part mm -hmm. of it, it's on you to be responsible, right. son. Right. You know what I mean? Like in college and in high school and college, they might pull you along. They yeah. might make sure you're right. Yeah. And then when you get in the NBA and you get in anything professional, that's right. your business. You your business. Yeah. And it took me a minute to get out of the rut of undisciplined yeah. punctuality and right. undisciplined on. Tell you, you got to come <laughs> on, man. You got to get on over and break. You ain't got to go anywhere. <laughs> Do they have to? You should be on point. Yeah. And when when you realize, that, hold on, these are the things that's keeping me from the court, not so much as my game. Mm -hmm. I'm just young. I'm the right. youngest player on my own team in right. New York. Then when I get traded to Boston the next year, I'm not so much as the young. I'm, I'm still young, but I'm a second year player. But I'm still one of the youngest players on that team. Right. Age wise, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So still, I'm, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to be a professional. I'm trying to figure out how to be a a grown man or a small mm -hmm. man and still try to hoop with one of the greatest draft classes that ever right. Right. Keep right. Up yeah. With that. yeah. So like I said, I just wasn't ready for all of that coming on. I hadn't played enough basketball. Right. I hadn't lived enough of that life. You know, right. we didn't the money is one thing. You yeah. know, what I mean? I'm talking about being around yeah. prosperity and being productive mm -hmm. at all times. I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. By the time I realized that I'm overseas. Right. I'm home. Exactly. Exactly. Now exactly. no matter don't see you over ball and like they don't know you really good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but that, that, that part was, you know, it, it took me a while to accept it, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a man to accept mm -hmm. it at that time. I just was not mentally ready for all of the yeah. goings on. I needed to just be playing. Right. And I was hurt. Right. right. So I started off hurting my whole rookie year, mm -hmm. so I get comfortable with the life. Right. In a way that I probably shouldn't have if I was a normal rookie, mm -hmm. you know, if I was healthy. So, you know, just, just being... Prepared and being a little more understanding of what's about to happen would have been the great, like Mookie Betts. Right. <coughs> great yeah. Like I say, even like I say, back to Jane. Groomed into it. You know what journey you want. Mm -hmm. I was three years removed from high school dropout. Yeah. To a first round pick. Right. Right. And let me let me let me let me let that transition to something else. For the kids out there listening, what we didn't have, and I think which we are being able to go back and give now is having the, be able to bridge the gap and the resources that we had around us. Y'all yes, got the resources right now to be able to tap into him, tap into a me, <laughs> tap into a Mercer, tap into people that's around that don't walk those steps. In a sense, we didn't have that because everybody was out getting their own. Right. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Trying to, still trying to, yeah, 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 trying to, tr trying to get that stability. You know, what I mean? you still there. Yeah, come on, man. Foundation. CA, you yeah. know, what I mean, Junior Burrow. Yeah. Like, I, I, we would I, all meet up in the summer. You can't forget Corey. Oh no, no, without a doubt. There's no way when you see that. But like I said, we talking a whole other thing. So you cannot yeah. forget Corey Allen because yeah. without him, then my dream's still a little bit different. Right. David Sutton, right. but Corey Allen was Sutton. a realistic because that's yep. the Tennessee. Mike Bivens, all Tennessee. these people see, like, he, come on, man. People who went the role as travel but mm -hmm. set standards that we could all take a piece of to propel ourselves right. forward. 
Right. And like I said, you like I said, you you, you right now are doing exactly what we've been needing. Right. To get the right people behind the mm -hmm. the, the camera and the mm -hmm. microphone and express. It. Yeah. You know, so yeah. they can see the dream is real. Yeah. Like, we're realistic. You we're can touch it. Bit. You can touch it. You know what I mean? We walked. You know what I mean? Everybody, ten plus years Remain. playing professional basketball and then coming right back in still can give you game off the court and on the court see? and your mental can be totally different if you tap into it so kids 15 16 years old don't be afraid to abuse your resources come on man abuse reach out and go resources. get it man because it's in out in cities outside of ours they do it that's what they've been doing and that's why and that's why it tears the perception again it exactly. looks like they're doing more than exactly more. we got just we're doing that exactly. we got just come on, division one players if right. you're talking about as a whole, right? But we just don't get the marketability because we, we, we like I say, the perception part right. of it. Yeah, when exactly. we change the perception, right? We real life. Mm -hmm. We 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 are SEC legends. Yeah. We are ten year overseas. I'm talking yeah, about yeah, veterans. Easy, who, easy. The bad yeah. point ain't easy to keep. Yeah, I enough. promise you that they got a dude in the locker room <laughs> or in the stands waiting watching you play. Sometimes, yeah, that's a fact. How, how a you fact. live next door to me and waiting on me to? You got this man coming to the game and we, I'm playing. So he's gonna replace me. Yeah. I'm going for a few months in Man, watch it. You must send him off. And then that, that's the thing people don't realize. Yeah, it's not so sweet. Right. And the NBA is sweet. Yeah, there you go. When you're outside of the NBA, when you're the D dog, the CBA, dog, dog. dog. what you say? Mm -hmm. Dog, eat dog. And, and, and that's why we can smile when the journey's over mm -hmm. because we know what we've accomplished, we know what we went through to get to that point. You exactly. know? So when you're talking about getting drafted in the NBA, they could have drafted 199. Right. You just know it's a sense of accomplishment. Right. That's all that gives you right. that confidence and the respect of peers. Mm -hmm. Now, even though we didn't get to do all the things that we would have liked to have done as a professional right. on that NBA level, right. are we not going to take second fiddle? No, without anymore? a doubt. And I, and I can guarantee, as I said before, you can still walk into that room and it's still the same respect. You just don't have this logo right that, That's the only thing missing. Only thing missing. You take shirts and skins, you see a different. Come on now. <laughs> so, Come on yeah, now. So I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm always get a... I guess you get, like I said, the blessings go a long way, but being linked to that draft class, yeah. and uh, being that every year that that 96 draft class, you know, whether it's sometimes it's tragedy, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. that, that that keeps the draft class right, right in the eye, but then sometimes it's trial too. Right. So as long as the class of 96 is mentioned up there with Michael Jordan and LeBron James right. class, right, right. We got Kobe Bryant, yes, we, got, we got Allen Iverson, yes, you know, we got Steve Nash, mm -hmm. we got. A, Excuse me, Stephon Marbury. Mm -hmm. We got Ray Allen, seven more cats mm -hmm. that, that, that some forces to be right. racking with. And if you say Dante Jones on a broke leg on right. one year at Mississippi State, yada, 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 gets the opportunity, I'm, I'm going to take my story. And let me make sure I say, man, make sure you put all that in the story. Because it ain't no story without all that. I promise you. You know what I mean? The beginning and the end. And this is the boom, boom, room, man. I'm going to wrap it up with my, 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 my guy. Uh, but I just want to say, your resources, man, the most valuable thing you got, man. Don't let your peers tell you about something that they never walked through. Wow. You got a guy like him that you can tap wow. into. DM any kind of yes, way sir. you want to get to him. Yes, sir. Tap into that. Abuse man who walked it. Your resources, please. Right. When they like myself That's or right. Slay and the Nashville basketball community that we have around here, we're not here to be anything less than your support. We're here right. to support everything you want to do if you're an aspiring, want to be the next one of what we mm -hmm. think we were. However, right. that, however that may sound to you, if you're the next aspiring to be whatever it is we were, we got you back. Right. We can share and we, we are want willing to share yeah. every bit of knowledge that we have to those. So I'm, I'm a firm believer in uh, what you put in, mm -hmm. you know, the work you put in is the results that you're going to get out. Hard work does pay off and yeah. uh, we here, man. We, we come from very humble beginners to, to be proud men today with a backpack full of basketball stories mm -hmm. and accolades that could take us around the world, which it has already done. So I, I, I keep, you know, I keep <laughs> reflecting on my fortunate self, yeah. you know, and I don't, I don't care too much about the riches and glamour part mm -hmm. of when I say fortunate. I'm very fortunate to right. walk around here as a 45-year-old healthy man who can still live the dream right. and be able to share it amongst those right. who right. thank you somebody. So as long as you got a little relevancy, man, we all right, man. That's it. We fine. Yes, sir. Man. I appreciate you, bro, man. Love you man. Love you Yes, sir.
I'm in the boom boom room with Ross like, 